Alright, so in this video, I'm just going to be kind of explaining why this thing has been running right. But now it has, or it is. Um, so, first I made a video of it. I was riding it, and I went up there, and it was running fine. Everything was stock, I never did anything to it. No straight pipes, or no air bonnets or anything. Then I put air bonnets on it. Then I did a, I think a carb removal video. And then I did a carb removal, and then a fuel, er, putting the carburetors on, then fuel pump. Then I think I did a, um, I replaced the food with the carburetor, but yeah, I think that's it. And so, pretty much, what was wrong with this thing was it was loading up on gas horribly. So, I just, me and my dad, we did a ton of stuff that just involved how much gas it got. We replaced the fuel pump, diaphragm, both of them, the two little plastic pieces, which, yeah, we replaced We replaced everything in the fuel pump. We changed the carburetors, we cleaned the carburetors a thousand times, not really, obviously, but, and uh, then I changed the, the boot on the magneto side, or the cylinder towards the recoil. And it didn't do anything and then we were just looking to see if our blue head gasket we didn't but um so pretty much what was going on which is two things we think this primer this piece of junk um it was it was feeding the engine even though we weren't even priming it so like you could just see gas suck up from the um, gas tank then go into the carburetors so that was flooding it and all yeah piece of junk and also these things the air bonnets um we all we think well we know the primer was bad but we think that these were restricting air um so when you restrict air from a carburetor it acts like a choke like um if you've ever like put your hand over the end of a carburetor, um, it's choking it pretty much. So we thought that's what these things were doing. Obviously not as much as like if you put your hand on it, but you know, just restricting airflow so it would add more gas. So these things are pretty much junk. And now, um, I, have a prim I have a primer inside of this thing. Right here. Actually, right now I'll just wait a second. Nah, never mind. But yeah, it'll start a bit. And it's idling really high because it's cold. That's normal. So, yeah, that's pretty much why it's not running, or it wasn't running. Uh, in the two videos ago when I did, when I was doing wheelies with it, just one, um, that thing wasn't even running right. Like, it was horrible. And then, uh, I drove it up a mountain, and it sucked, because I'd have to start, drive it up like seven feet, then it would load up on fuel, then I'd have to stop and just burn it, burn it by, you know, just not moving, just letting it idle. Then I'd have to go, or I could go, like, seven feet, and then it would just load up again, and so I could just seven feet at a time. But this paddle track is mint. Like, is this thing running like absolute garbage? Yes, I know. I gotta do something about this. This paddle track, it's inch and a half. It's awesome. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'll probably do some riding on this now. I'd be in the end of this video. But that is why this thing hasn't been running and I haven't been doing any videos for it. <laughs>